Oh, Norse, brilliant. <laughs> My favourite team. <laughs> Bollocks. Right, got to stay positive, though. That's the idea. I mean, they're not that good at... Okay, they are kind of a hard counter to Skaven, but... Um... No, I mean, at least he's got a tackle that isn't wasted and a runner that's a god. He doesn't have sure hands. He's only got one mighty blow. Um, his record's amazing. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll be positive. He's got he's got a good kit as well. It's going to be tough. Norse are probably going to destroy us, yeah. Good thing I've got that claw, yeah. He's going to be hitting that. He's gonna be hit, beating the crap out of that, uh, out of that uh, Ulf Werner. Yeah, Norse with three tackle first goes because what else can they take? Fend, yeah. Frenzy, not really. Pro, <laughs> not really. <laughs> so, yeah, this is this is gonna be a tough one. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to, Tony. <laughs> um, but no, look, I'm not going to be whining. It's fair enough, isn't it? You get a player to be there. Yeah, I think I want, don't want to link that clip that much to Squirrel Dude. <laughs> yeah, you can have dirty player. You can have dirty player as well. Yeah, true. Maybe it's not all of them if you don't have the bench. But uh, yeah, tackle's fine, isn't it? <sighs> well, even TV, but because he goes second, he gets to uh, he gets to scum a hundred that I couldn't answer, which is a bit disappointing, isn't it? If he does, I don't think he will. I mean, he might do. He think I'm five two zero. He might think he might think that I know how to play, but he'd be wrong, wouldn't he? He'd be wrong. So hopefully, he doesn't scum anything. He doesn't need to. I don't think. I think he'll win without scumming anything. But, you know, if he wins, he wins. I don't mind. I'm not going to begrudge him a victory or anything. Yes. Yeah, bitter. What? Tear. He didn't scum anything, so that's nice, isn't it? Oh. Tired. A bit tired, just quietly. Yeah, exactly, Adonis Kellis, yeah, exactly. 5 2 0. <laughs> not, even, not even worthy of remarking upon as, as Skaven. <laughs> it's like, it's just nothing, is it? <laughs> By the way, is the cackling better now? Because I completely turned off the sound on my, uh, you know, from the speakers. So if you can, if you, if you, if you, if you could hear the cackling before, if there's less cackling, that may be what it is. If that isn't what it is, and I, I, I don't mind listening to it, much better. Nah, so that's what it is then. I should. Uh, I guess I should have wear headphones. Yeah. So I guess that's what it was. I guess it was the fact it was picking up the uh, picking up the sound from the speakers. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I need to wear headphones or uh, or. He's missing. A, is he missing a scheme? No, he's he's protected. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking protected. Emperor Augustus, get on the line and fucking die. <laughs> um, right. Oh, this is rough, isn't it? This is pretty scary. Oh my god, yeah, Arrested Development, yeah. Yeah, it's like the most dulled thread ever, isn't it? There's just literally ten, ten pages of arguing semantics. It's brilliant. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I was like an aunt to give for the cards. 
Oh, is, is Tony safe? No, Bike Aches is safe. Tony's still in the danger zone. Or is he missing next game? Oh, oh, Tony's got to get on the line, hasn't he? And brown hair, because brown hair's invincible. Right. I could even have the uh, Rogan not blitzable. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. No, I'd have the Roger Blitzable because it's not easy to hit him. It's not easy to hit him, is it? <laughs> oh, Huanchi. Huanchi TV. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. You're on. Oh, five SPPs on the LOS. Really? Five, zero. Ah, oh, I was an idiot. Is it five should have been on the bench? Ah, it's okay though. I mean, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> He's a fucking rat. I don't give a shit. Hi. Zero. Using the kitchen. Yeah, maybe I should have protected him then. But I mean, he's going to have that shot the first time I activate him anyway, so fuck it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tony. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Yaxter. Yeah, I've given in. I've given in to the, uh, to the rat. Oh, oh, penis. The oh, penis of rats. I'm really feeling the old penis of rats. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Throw. Yeah, Hwanchi TV. Oh man, what a what a game, eh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I should have. I know I should have been cheering for my subs in that match against the uh, against the goblins, but it was fucking crazy, wasn't it? The uh, goblins. Like, I you can't help but. But like, feel sorry for goblins playing against Amazons. So uh, I think I was. I think I was. What's the word? Impartial. But it's. It was like Crucifer against the Underworld. You know, like I couldn't. I I quite like Crucifer, but there's no way you've got you've got to cheer on the Underworld, haven't you? You've just got to. No snow troll. No, no claw. He's got a lean, mean, fucking team here, hasn't he? Because he's he's got no no bloat against me. He's got three tackle. Like imagine if he played orcs and he's like, oh, I've got three tacklers and no claw. But instead, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, said I was holding this up. Pokemon, <laughs> very nice Pokemon mug there. Um, so yeah, he's he's actually got no fucking dead weight against me. He's got a dodge elf, yeah, okay, well he's got some blow. But against me, the, the, I don't have tackle, so it's not blow against me. Like, he could be playing dwarves, right? And then the the dodge on the elf looks horrific, and the tackle on the linos looks horrific, and the lack of a yeti looks horrific. But against me, it, it all, all works out, doesn't it? The record's okay, 5-2-0, mellow gold. Oh, this is this is a good idea. I forgot about I forgot about that little thing there. Uh, yeah, it's like it's it's not terrible. It's just I don't think it's as good as a block one. Um, obviously, when it gets block guard, pretty good. Sixty-six point nine win percentage. He's a badass. He's a badass. I'm having to go piling on. So block first, all right. You gotta go block first. I think you need guard though. So I would go block guard. Just be, yeah, just be boring and go block guard. <laughs> 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 
so you like the openness of the rats, Jimmy? How much do you like the openness? Get demonetized for putting me on the line. Oh, man. Thanks, thanks, Tony. <laughs> the old penis. <laughs> Very good, Elmo. <laughs> oh, yeah, unfortunately, Pedro Jack. Um, sake, it Tony. only works Stop for, being shit. you know, subscribers of the, uh, of the, of the channel rather than Patreon people too. So, I did change it because people were spamming the fuck out of it. So I, I'll, I can do it for you. Maybe it's maybe it's capo. There you go. Sixty-five point three. <laughs> Fucking liar. Yeah, Imbre Augustus doing well. Brown hairs in a tricky place. Where's Tony? Oh, here. Oh, right. <laughs> He's in a gang fouling position, stunned. <laughs> yeah, Astro Toy. Yeah, I do remember that. They were ridiculous. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's only subs now, Juhanian, to uh, to stop the spam of it. I do remember when you could throw a team at Woody Catches. Yeah. Yeah. I do remember that. I remember all of it. I remember everything. I remember everything. It was just to tone down the spamming because it was, it was getting spammed a lot. <laughs> um, so that seemed like a, a nice little perk of being a sub. And uh, also, you can whisper extra arms, bot, um, with CCL. <laughs> I remember everything. Yep. <laughs> yeah, rest of development. Oh shit. Oh shit, I wanted to I wanted to fucking throttle that guy. <laughs> but now it's okay, I'm forgiving him. I'm forgiving him. Uh how's the right record? Five two zero. Which is alright, isn't it? It's not nothing to set the earth on fire yet, but you know, if I win twenty in a row, I might finish third rats. <laughs> it's about how fucking overpowered rats are. <laughs> uh, apes of wrath. Oh man. Oh man. Can't hit his mighty blow guy, can I? That's unfortunate. Well, it's not unfortunate. You could say it's good play by him. <sighs> Is he going to foul? No, he's not. So I could just dodge the extra arms guy in here, I strength four. And do move the guard, the guard can get to here, can't he? In like a sensible way. Not even hard to get the guard there. He could go the other way, like I'm sure easily. Yeah, really easily. So he could go there, right, so I could get two. And then the two heads guy could go in here. Not great odds. But he could, then I could push him. And then, uh. Fucking. One, one, two dice the ball. Possible. Probably not worth it. When I say probably not worth it, I'm, what, I'm, what I actually mean is. It's not worth it. I was gonna make this three dice, but then I realised I have to stand him when I don't get hit by Mighty Blow. So, I'm 
answer your question. No, what the fuck up? You can probably surf me here, can't you? Guard here could be nice. <laughs> Could I have a screen? Oh. Oh, this. <laughs> yeah, well, King, let's give him our still alive. It's unbelievable. Uh, favorite time of Blood Bowl? Favorite, not team, favorite time of Blood Bowl. What, of all Blood Bowl? Of all Blood Bowl? Probably, uh, probably just when I looked at the art and read the fluff of Blood Bowl Second Edition. Probably that's what got me hooked into it. Like the Pete Nifton art and uh, the big thing. Yeah, the Claw Rat's ready to get blitz and foul to fuck, isn't he? <laughs> I guess I should have swapped the positions of those two. Mighty blow blitzed and then foul. He's got a reroll. Yeah, <laughs> it's all down. <laughs> oh god! No, yeah, people should have negative. I'm, I'm trying to not be negative at all. I mean, you know, obviously I've played a lot, so I've, I've played a lot. <laughs> so it doesn't have the same wonderment that a new player would have. But uh, I still enjoy it. Obviously, I'm still playing it. I still. Still very much enjoy Blood Bowl, even though it's occasionally frustrating, but then, you know, at least when it's frustrating, you know it's not your fault. Because people, like, moan about being unlucky at, you know, a shooting game, but really they just haven't clicked on someone's head well enough, have they? Um, whereas with this, you can get pissed off because you've rolled bad, it's not even your fault, isn't it? Uh, well, Stradik, yeah, look, I, yeah, it's, it is what it is, that's, uh, that's the, that's the, that's the, the unknowing feedback that I got, which I thought was actually quite, quite surprisingly, uh, constructive, so yeah, I thought that was alright. Thanks, Pandalism, I really tried, I really tried, because... You know, I don't want people to think I'm an asshole. Um, and if that's what, you know, like, see, DK sees that I'm competitive and passionate rather than, uh, yeah, that's true, because Lemon I do as well, yeah. But do you know what I mean, though? Like, you don't get really super pissed off unless, you know, all you guys are dying <laughs> and everything. You know, I don't know. It's yeah. simply not true. Yeah, true. True starting here. Yeah, but, but still, you know, like, I think it's not that I want to be completely fake. I definitely don't want to be fake at all. But by the same token, I don't want people to get the wrong idea about me, which, do you know what I mean? Um, so that's it. So I'd rather, I'd rather not pe people not get the wrong idea. Yeah, it is really, it is really annoying sometimes, Lechthenian. But it's it's only really annoying when you're being competitive, isn't it? It's only like you know when I've been trying to qualify for champs ladder, and uh, you know when some guy makes a frenzy trap and gets a KO, and you're like, "Cheers, buddy! Cheers, buddy! That's fun." But I mean, you I don't have to, you know, like and people people a lot of people say that I give up too easily, and I really really super don't give up too easily. It's just you know, gives gives that a, gives that impression. Yeah. Is he gonna? He's not gonna foul. So he's given. He's just giving me one dice on the ball with with guard, isn't he? Wow, he's frenzy trapping himself. Do do you even guard, bro? <laughs> Okay. 
Rerolls it, gets a pow. Wow. I'm calm. I'm not salty. I'm not going to be mean to my opponent. Good for you! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right. I mean, I could one dice, but without block or anything, it's a bit shit, isn't it? Could uphill with strip. That's probably really easy this turn. It's not that easy. It's pretty easy, though. Uh, double GFI. Double GFI. Uphill with strip wrestle. Puts him to there. With this guy ready to run around. Nah, maybe it's next turn. Maybe he's doing it next turn. Maybe next turn. Roger wants to blitz for sure. So, I do need to actually stand up these, these shit headline rats finally. Herp, derp, space, space, space. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. No, it's just double one. <laughs> Triple one into KO'd, got a runner. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Saying, you know, I'm not really uh <laughs> No one's in that cup, just tea. No, I mean I've never I've just I've never really been that fucking pissed off, you know. It's just a, it's just fun, isn't it? It's just fun to say I'm gonna go like I'm gonna go to that guy's house and steal his car and kill his dog just because it happened in John Wick. Not because I actually wanted to go to the guy's house and steal his car and kill his dog. Just a bit of fun, wasn't it? It's easy to have a bit of fun. But then some people, which, you know, I could think of uh, bad things to say about them. Some people might think I'm being serious there and think I'm an, I'm an asshole or something, which simply is not true. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying I've never been salty, but there's two ways of going when you're salty, isn't there? One is to, one is to, uh, oh, is this the one where, uh, yeah, no, that was, oh God, that was really annoying, yeah. But I mean, I didn't, I didn't do anything funny, did I? You know, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> that was just a genuine scream of anguish. Um, yeah, sure. You know? So... Ah yes, that's that's fine stuff. Yeah, I fucking loved. I love all of Pete Nippon's artwork, Blood Bowl artwork. And he he did, he did some other things. He he did a he did like a concept for a forty k cartoon that they never did, but that would have been really good. Yeah. <laughs> Tony. Yeah, that was just extremely sad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a ton, guys. <laughs> yeah, but 
but you know, I, I do. I know I do wine. I know I do wine, um, and I know I should try and not wine because it, it is easy to wine, isn't it? You know, when he does the frenzy trap, re rolls into a power. It's easy to wine there. Obviously, I'm not happy about it, but I don't need to fucking cry about it, do I? And failing the, the stand up after pushing the mighty blow, so I can blitz with with the rat ogre and, and mighty blow his mighty blow. I roll a one on the might on the roger, then roll a double one on the dodge, then he removes somebody with a block. So that's basically he's down and two guys are knocked out because I rolled a one, <laughs> which is uh, you know, it's easy to get sad at that point, isn't it? And then pissed off and everything. It is easy, but there's no, that's still no reason to just be a whiny little fucking cunt. And I know I've been a whiny little cunt. There's, there's, it doesn't. Help anyone to be a fucking whiny little cunt, does it? So I'm really going to try to stop being a whiny little cunt. Yeah. I'm really going to fucking try to stop. I can't guarantee it, though, because I am sometimes a whiny cunt, but I'm really going to try to not. Um. <laughs> yeah, don't think it is. That's true, yeah. That's true. <laughs> well, it's far off. Yeah. Jimmy, I'm beginning to think that every time you roll a one, your head becomes more round and Thanks, Tony. you will soon look yeah, like a smiley great. face or more likely a um, frowny face. I played I played somebody who I think, I don't know if he was new to Blood Bowl or not. I don't know how new he was. But he, he'd said he'd only use Skaven, or he usually use Skaven and he was using Necro and they, uh, he was he was horribly horribly uh unlucky. However, he did expose his wheels to get blocked, which ultimately is asking for trouble, isn't it? So, um, but yeah, he was, he, I diced the fuck out of him, you know. Without, without, <laughs> without being funny, I completely did, I did completely dice the living shit out of him, so it was very enjoyable for me. Uh, and, he, you know, he was, he was very sunny despite getting dicked on. He was, he was, he, he didn't, he wasn't salty at all, which was an inspiration, really. Um, he didn't. He didn't seem bothered by it whatsoever. Um, right, this is tough, isn't it? I'm just going to make a three plus here, and if I fail it, my turn ends. Now, some people may think that's me giving up on the game, right? But it's not, because I've got two stun guys. If he scores early, I just score. If I made that dodge, then this guy can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, GFI, GFI. Uphill block him on minus 2 with wrestle strip. Push him to there, push him to there. Maybe ball comes out, he goes through, and he's away. And so it was like it was a risky move. I could have tried to stand him up first. If I do stand him up first, he gets knocked down and mighty blowed. Now I can just leave everyone down and pass turns and have a go at the one turner. And then maybe come back. I've also noticed that what I've done is I don't really give up on games, but if things are going horribly, I tend to vocalise the part of me that's saying I'm fucked here, aren't I? Instead of vocalising the part that's saying, um, you know, if I get lucky or if he fucks up, I've got half a chance, half a chance or a, a tiny chance. But I, I tend to focus on the fact that unless he massively fucks up or unless I get ridiculous dice I'm fucked but I, I never I, you know I don't, I don't care I have conceded in my life but in the games where I don't give up I don't give up I, I think I look like I give up a lot more than I do actually give up mostly I just concede once I've given up I don't think he particularly got dice off that to be fair <laughs> no, Frankfurt. No, I just, I just read some Reddit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he was. I don't think he really got dice. No. <laughs> I think just was the first go. Normally, I'd be sad about losing a blitzer here, but um, <laughs> but when it's the guy with a fucking broken claw. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not uh, 
It's not the only favourite quote from Reddit. <laughs> simians. <laughs> Anything to do with simians. <laughs> um, I don't think it got diced, though. You know, it was... I mean, I don't think he did anything horribly wrong, but it doesn't mean it was a dicing, does it? <laughs> you know? Um, Christopher liked being Movement 9 with his Bull Centaurs, which was, wasn't was really like... You don't have to get that lucky. Like, It's really not lucky to stack three GFIs. It's really not lucky to stack three GFIs and make them, but it is bad play, isn't it? So he did that a bit too much. Um, but that doesn't constitute a dicing, does it? That is, it was nothing like a dicing wolf bar. I guess it. I guess it does. <laughs> I guess it does depend on what you call a dicing. But what I call a dicing is having loads of players removed instantly and having no chance whatsoever. Um, some people call it a dicing when you've caused two Kaz with a Pommer and you think somehow you've been diced, you know? That's what some people, some people's attitude is. Um, so there you go. True with Bark, true. Like, obviously, if you're playing Ducky, there's less dice or a horrible matchup, if you know, if you're 300 TV down or whatever, 400 TV down then you're probably going to have more situations where there's less you could have done. Like here, I think I made the right moves. I set up a frenzy trap, and then he got a push, re-rolled it into a pow. Then I rolled the one for the rover activation. Then I rolled the double one for the dodge. I mean, those sort of things. I didn't do anything wrong there, did I? And you could say that was a it was bad dice. It's not a dicing, though, is it? You know, it's just some some rolls that didn't work out. It's not. It's not a dicing though at all. Herf, derf, face, Up to this face, point. Face. This won't fail. I am on the right. right. <laughs> He's fucking dies. There's a chance though, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. He's earned himself a re-roll with this with this move. Oh shit, you fuck. Oh got him. Oh, he's, he's, it's pretty safe though, isn't it actually? Where does it go? Two TZs, three TZs. Fuck off. Fail the first one. <laughs> roll a one. Stack all that, roll a one. Fair enough, will not it? Double one as well. Oh yeah, this doesn't wipe off, that looks pretty shit, doesn't it? But it didn't it didn't wash off. Last try you roll, roll, roll one at a time. Now you had tackle. But um, I was just going to go for it, you know. But yeah, have high chance of success. I was just going to go for it. Whether I'd used dodge on, on the other ones or not, I was just going to fucking go for it. Because I was in a bit of a shit spot, wasn't I? Um, yeah, being 25 men up and even minus 2D, easy on the ball, wasn't it? It was incredibly easy. Um, yeah, he's four, four players up. Is, it is surely suboptimal. Right? <laughs> Break tackle on the go runner. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I didn't do anything wrong that turn. I mean, I'm not saying that I've played great, perfect. Not even played well this game, you know? Who knows? I might not even played well this game. There's maybe loads of things I could have done differently. But um, that particular turn. I think I made exactly the right play that particular turn where I made a two dice block which pushed the mighty blow into the tackle zone of the the, the rat ogre so I could take out his mighty blow and then I tried to dodge away a gutter runner 
So I think I think that one turn I I played perfectly, you know, and then rolled some ones and and got a guy knocked out because of it, and set up the frenzy trap. I thought that was doing right as well the turn before. So I don't know. You can't. You can't. Uh, <laughs> I clicked to win. Oh, Keander. <laughs> Gunnarkin, yeah, North and it's not going very well, yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not going great. But he did give us minus two D in the ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eleven is good with the uh the fateful it's not even looking that, that bad. It's not that it never does look that bad with Skaven because you should always be able to roll some dice and have something happen. He's probably gonna foul now though. I imagine he's gonna try and get a foul in now, isn't he? Now that he's realised that <laughs> that wrestle strips actually rather good. <laughs> um, yeah, I've always, you know I've got one reroll left, so I'm gonna have a chance to one turn with a reroll, and uh, yeah, yeah. There's always a chance with Skaven, it, and it it never looks that bad with Skaven. No matter how horrific it looks, um, it never really looks that bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jelly. Need a lot more levels on the gutters. Yeah, for sure. Particularly the guard ones just fucking need blocks so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't like colours, yeah. <laughs> <We're not perfect. laughs> I could have done that. <laughs> Very good, Johnny Contraverti. No, you know, I don't want to be one of those guys. Um, and I don't think I've ever just defended my play, you know, against, in the face of all odds, how some people do. Um... You know, I don't think I've ever tried to justify bad plays or anything. I think I've always been fair with, like, you know, if uh, maybe I could have done something better there. Um, yeah, if all guts are, it looks bad, yeah. Remember Mr. Nice? Well, I'm saying Mr. Nice, you know. I, just, I think that is being nice, isn't it? I think... I'm, have tended to be a... Uh... Oh, well, if he fails the pickup, he could just lose. Fucking Skaven, eh? Fucking Skaven! <laughs> could just lose. He could just literally lose from rolling a 1 in 9. How stupid is that? All right. What's the play here? Do I go for a scatter or just a 2 plus, 4 plus, 5 plus, 2, 3, 2 out? Do I try to get out with him first? No, not really. Do I blitz with him? That might that might make things better, mightn't it? I can stop and assist here first. Ooh, 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 got juggernaut. I could scatter it. Yeah, it's in loads of tackle zones. Let's scatter it. Obviously him catching it here is horrible. But Two tackle zones is much better than one, isn't it? He doesn't even have tackle. I could punt. Because I'm not going to get away from this fucker. Punt it. He's got a tackle in a 3 plus dodge, that looks horrible. But if it works, then he's a 2 plus to go out, so it could go out that way. Could go out that way anyway and punt it. Two tackles is much better than one, I meant three. <laughs> Obviously I meant three. Yeah, he's going to stand up first. I don't want to stand him up. But I also don't want to dodge him out. Fucking hate, I hate punting. 
But he can block him down. He's got tackle there. But he's going to knock me down anyway. So... Go there. It's not really a cage, is it? Just literally block him, and then he's got two dice to tackle on the ball. I'd rather just make him knock me over. Could GFI so he can't push me into this guy. There is a dude behind the rattle gear, yeah. so I didn't want to get him pushed into him. Maybe I should have punted it. I don't know. Maybe I should have punted it. But still, he's got the. He's got to knock me over, and I'm in scoring range now as well, with that GFI. So I'll, it was a pretty, pretty nice GFI, wasn't it? If he like, randomly fucked something up, like if he quad skulls or does something crazy. Yeah, there's a chance. There's a chance of getting lucky here and not getting powered. And then just being able to GFI twice. Yeah, that's the thing without the punt, yeah. He got the shot moved in a second, but yeah, which could have been huge, yeah. Could have been huge. Like two heads better with block, yeah, so do I. Lemon is good. Um, but it's just it's just still a good skill to have, isn't it? Like I didn't want rest I didn't want guard, so but yeah, two heads is just amazing, isn't it? So I thought, I can't not have two heads. So I took two heads. But yeah, if, I, if I'd gone... If I'd gone block... Shoe hands? Block, sidestep, shoe hands? Then I would have gone two heads, probably. I don't know. Quad skulls, or he just rolls pushes, yeah? Yeah, he could just roll pushes. It happens, doesn't it? It happens that he could just roll pushes, yeah? Yeah. I think I think already though, two heads has been much more effective than horns would have been. That's true, Adonis Kellis. That is true. That is true. But if I already have block sidestep sure, that's why I said if block sidestep sure hands, you know. Maybe he wouldn't have been. Maybe he wouldn't have pushed me into that overrunner. Maybe he would have. Oh, you can't, you can't assume your opponent's going to do the wrong thing, can you? You've got to assume they're going to do the right thing. I think anyway, to 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 do good blood ball. I think it was good blood ball to make that GFI to get so that he couldn't push me into the old one. Because I mean that was horrible. If he pushes me in the old one, he's pushing me into three dice with frenzy. It's, I think I had to make that GFI. And then once I made that GFI, uh, although if I was going to punt, I wouldn't have to make the GFI. But, no. Yeah, the Rogan needs to blitz, the Claw Mighty Blow guy needs to blitz eventually. He could have just double won that GFI, couldn't he? But now he's three dicing with tackle. But he needs a GFI again, just quietly. And he's pushing me closer to the end zone if he doesn't get the power. He's rolled a one. Come on. Come on. Come on, lad. Oh, he only just gets us. Only just gets us. Fucking hell. Fuck. This, this dodge would have been huge, wouldn't it? If I could have made that. No armor break, at least. Nah, he's got okay recovery. This guy's like movement eight. Alright, he 
go that way as well. Yeah, no, the arch enemies, the arch nemesis, they are, yeah. How many bits to pull? I don't know, so I don't know. 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of rerolls now, though. He's failed. <laughs> oh god, that guy! Should I surf him at the end? I should try, shouldn't I? So what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Blitz him, and then screen and screen. Like there's a chance of a screen here, isn't there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, right. Yeah, I was going for nine without without counting the standing up. I could blitz this guy, push him, power him, and then run away and then pass to him. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. Blitz, one, two, three, four, five, six. Dodge to there. So I want to have to be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. GFI, GFI. I could blitz and then tag the tackler. I'd really like to just dodge him out and then I could pass to him, couldn't I? Fail the dodge and get KO'd. Ah, oh, fail and cause a stun. You were close. Yeah, I actually shouldn't have blitzed. I should have blitzed this way because then I could have got one, two, three, four, five, six GFI. But the way I did it was there was I was trapped anyway. But now he's going to get me because he can push into Frenzy and into more Frenzy and into more Frenzy, so... But yeah, he does no reroll, you never know. He's got to make him three dice, hasn't he? It was horrible using my last reroll, but he can still one turn without a reroll, can't you? So while you want a reroll for your one turn, um, you don't have to have it. Yeah, maybe I should have blitzed this guy. One, I mean, I should have blitzed this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. That would have been really nice to, to tag the tackle. Gets the, gets the pure power anyway. But yeah, he's running out of time at least. He can very much fail the score here. KOs. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, GFI, GFI. Not in scoring range. Shame. Ah, the, the punt would have been a 1. <laughs> Every punt is a 1, as Fash would say. <laughs> this will end with a rogue dodge blitz, probably. <laughs> probably. I mean, everything's a bit horrible for him now because he doesn't want to turn over, does he? So. Mm. Mm, 
don't know though, it would have been really good put, putting it over here, wouldn't it? It would have actually been really good last turn if it had been an accurate punt. It would have actually been really good. Um, and I would have done it with a re-roll out, maybe. But I just didn't want to fumble it. But then it was like a fumble anyway. End of the day, wasn't it? End of day. I gotta play that enough wider sometime. Maybe. Oof, should have blocked with the elf. <laughs> should have blocked with the elf. <laughs> you big noob. <laughs> this rat is not in scoring range, unfortunately. One shot. But this guy can get in scoring range next turn. Also, this guy can just hit the ball. Only a push. Really needed a third gutter at this point, didn't I? That, that, that double one into KO is proving to be a little bit costly. Yeah, that's true, Jehanian. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, I probably should have punted. Yeah, you're right. That was probably the spot to punt. Yeah. And now he's just got to get the ball back from here instead of there, which he couldn't have done. And I could have had two gutters in the vicinity. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Pass over here. Oh, come on, baby. Right, let's fucking do... Let's do this. <laughs> right, he does have two scoring threats. But fuck him. screen him off afterwards. <laughs> All right. No. Oh. Oh. Shard of Chocolada. That would have been really funny though, wouldn't it, to just get the ball. <laughs> Pass it to him. And then dodge out a guy from here, dodge this guy out from there, and he'd have been screened. And just could have just scored. He's got no reroll, so he's got to get a bit lucky to do this, isn't he? A few three pluses here. Scattering could have been bad though, because it could have failed. Yeah, scatter bounds could be funny. Scatter about he could have scattered out of bounds, could have gone that way, gone that way, come this way, bounced, caught it. Yeah, it's at least a three. <laughs> three plus pick up, three plus pass, three plus catch, three plus yeah, it's at least three three pluses. Have a kebab Three's or at four. least zero. Glorious Five kebabs, thank smiley you very face. Much. Kebab. No kebabs. Um but thank you very much for the donation, Desronov. Um no kebabs but chicken and rice and uh, broccoli. Thank you very much. <laughs> Glorious. Yeah, minimum. I mean, it's probably not even more than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, three, three plus pick up, three plus pass, three plus catch, and two GFIs is the best. So that's. Yeah, it's still surprisingly high, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Let's see what it is. Let's sambar it up. Three threes and two twos is what it is, I believe what it is. Which is twenty percent. Which is human bullshit. Never mind elf bullshit. It'd be fifty fifty with a reroll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean that's the that's the play, isn't it? Maybe that's not the play actually, because that's two GFIs. Maybe it's a four would be better. Maybe three three four is better. Let's samba this. Maybe it's just three four three is better. Twenty two. Twenty two percent. The long pass is better. Yeah. 
three three four is better. Though I think the twos are better with a reroll. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, yeah, it probably is. <laughs> Good to run, Marish left to run. <laughs> yeah, twenty-two percent. Chicken and rice and broccoli. Yeah. Yes, that's a very good point. PF84, yes. Something to always factor in. He's been unlucky with the pickups, to be fair, hasn't he? He has been actually very unlucky with the pickups here, which is good for me. Oh, he's halfway there. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Ah, he rolls a one. I've only had a third gutter runner. I just totally score easily. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm fucking dumb my rats. <laughs> um, uphill blocking. And then go there, and then long bomb it. All right then. This is obviously low odds, but I'll go for it. <laughs> I'll go for it. There's no reason not to go for it. Well, my players might die, but you know. I don't know what fucking chances this has. It's got to be better to just do a... Is it better? This might be better. This might be worth it. Let's have a look without re-rolls. Let's go to Samba. The 225 is probably better because 6 plus is really hard, isn't it? 225 is 23%. So, yeah. Way better. You can do it. <laughs> didn't move the target. I didn't want to move the target because it would have been a five plus pass. I don't know. Disgusted beyond belief. Yeah, there was a chance, wasn't there? <laughs> yeah, eighty percent. There was a chance, obviously. You know. Didn't die, yeah, that was something. So got to go all them removals and then it's only one Kaz. Still ten ten men for the second half. And uh Yeah, good. Chicken rice and broccoli, because it's the best stuff. The best diet, isn't it? I mean you won't have it every day. I did have it every day once. Um but Senai doesn't want to just eat the same thing every single day. So, you know, I'm going to have to think of some variation in the diet. But mostly it's going to be chicken, brown rice and broccoli. <laughs> yeah, Clawman. <laughs> Clawman Pedro Jack. I'm sure you like his name, but um, he's been ineffective <laughs> in his entire career, so... <laughs> I know I didn't I had it every day for like about six months Pedro Jack about six months yeah it was about six months I lost five stone if you can believe that <laughs> so um, yeah and it was easy as well it was just fucking easy I didn't even I don't even carry the same thing every day I couldn't give two fucks I'd just eat chicken and brown rice and broccoli wouldn't even care <laughs> no, 70, 70 pounds if you're American. I don't know what that is in kilos. I haven't got a clue. 30 kilos maybe? Don't really know. But a lot. <laughs> is it 30 kilos? Could be.
31, ain't good. Pretty good. Atlas Marbles. Rice, well actually, um, brown rice isn't so good if you eat a lot of it, is it? That's what I, what I want. Cultivating mass. Oh god. It's gonna be fucking glorious once, uh, once, once we move house and get these Atlas Stones in. Um, it's gonna be pretty glorious. I'm gonna do the old handoff play again. I know it's risky adding in one in thirty six, but it's also hard to score with you know whoever picks it up sometimes, isn't it? Right. Hopefully I just kill his fucking strength ball guy here. Oh, I fucking hate Yeah, it'll, it'll happen lemon is good. I fucking hate broccoli. But it's it's like wonder food, isn't it, broccoli? So <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> What's that it's uh the 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 garden is a glorious size and uh i haven't looked at the flat yet it's uh but we're gonna have a look on sunday plus some minus or I don't know people call broccoli food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So does so does protein in, in general. Doesn't it? Oh god. All these tacklers up here. Fuck off your tackle. <laughs> right, come on then. This next safest block is the fucking roger. Come on, kill him. Ah, Yes, Senna actually likes eating broccoli, which uh, is a bit fucking disturbing. He's just uh, badly hurt. Just badly hurt. Wasn't a death, was it? I guess I'll reroll the pick up here before making LOS blocks, because I really don't want ball to get based by tackle. No, I don't mind, do I really? Fuck it. Fuck, if he bases me with tackle, he bases me with fucking tackle. And go there and make it harder for him to base me with tackle. This can protect against the surf. <laughs> Hellish block dice, this isn't it? No removals in the entire game. Alright. Alright, not getting based by tackle. That's something, isn't it? <laughs> Broccoli. Wow. Makes me feel like a giant eating a tree. That's brilliant, little buzz. If I have that in my mind, maybe I like broccoli. Mm. That is a surf. Hey, this is a harder surf, though. This is like a chain surf now, isn't it? Like, this was an easy surf when you could just push twice and, and block him out. Whereas now he's got to chain him twice and then block him and then block him again. I don't know, I thought it was all right. It, it, it obviously wasn't great, but I really didn't want to use any rerolls that turn. Basically. Because I think, I've, you know, with, with him having tackle, I think I've got to, uh, got to pace my rerolls. <laughs> no skill not found. <laughs> Yeah, Jay. 
<laughs> yes, Adonna Colors. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you can always just whisper. Oh, hello, BZL. Yeah, yeah. Um, I made it. I made it subs only because people were spamming the fuck out of me. There is. <laughs> you can't. There's a reason you can't see the top injury box. Nobody can. And uh, despite you know, I've made some roger hits. I've made some other blocks. I haven't. I haven't made been completely pacifist. But uh, yeah. it is amazing. But yeah, thank you, BCL. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Pedro. <laughs> I think he's going to struggle to stop a scoring, isn't he? It's just. Nah, he might not actually. Play her down. And hurt her base, base, base. He's got plenty of block. But just the movement. Skaven is good, isn't it? Hello, Mankiz. That would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be good. What's that extra arms? This one's catch up and pick ups and interceptions. Yeah, because interceptions are like a type of catch, aren't they? So. Yeah, that's true, BZL. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Good players, aren't they? <laughs> oh, he did, he did. oh, there you go. He makes a block, gets a cast. Typical, innit? I mean, I make one. No, I'm not whining. I'm not whining. All right. Let's 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 leave this out. But he makes a block, gets a cast. That's all I'm saying, all right? He makes a block, gets a cast. I made, I made like four. I did nothing. I made a stun. <laughs> <laughs> I need a block here, roll the blitz, move up this side of the ball. Seems pretty obvious, doesn't it? Might have been another draw here. So far. Who am I kidding? Skaven can fucking go anywhere they want. That is simply not true. The hater does not support your assertion. <laughs> Good old Dode. The classic. The classic. So looking for Dode. got the potential to be very spammy and uh, and BME, which I uh, is not what I want it to be. So that's all right. It's subs only. Because people people do like to spam it for comedic per effect as well. I right, made a dodge. This might be a draw, might it? All right, what's this? Learn more from playing some teams and others. What team's best for learning when you start? Or does that not matter? The, the important thing when you start, da ball in Caracol. It's already. Um, the important thing when you start is to not give up, <laughs> basically. So while you may like the idea of ogres or something, it's probably not a good idea to start using them. Um, because they're rubbish. <laughs> so, I would say, what's your favourite team? And then, uh, like, what appeals to you the most? 
and uh, you know and uh, and then go from there but yeah type exclamation point lrb6 yeah for sure um yeah orc if you like bash and dark elves if you like ball basically if you know i would say those are the two those are the two things that i would recommend and then uh ah <laughs> glory thanks <Aromaya. laughs> yeah um basically well you get more power though with armor seven so you know it's there's a uh, a six and you know there's yeah dark elves are good because they aren't very quick yeah exactly yeah, undead do a bit of it. And they've, got, they've also got clearly defined positionals, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just have fun, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You've got to have fun, you know. You've got to... The, import, the most important thing is just literally not giving up. So if you use, say, humans or whatever, and you end up losing tons of games and getting pissed off, it's not so good, is it? Whereas Dark Elves are pretty good. Orcs are pretty good. And uh, you can do things with them. And... You know, you prob you should be able to understand why you're losing, because orcs are pretty slow. Dwarves aren't. You know, so it's uh, yeah. Dreams are shit. He's a fast learner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the mad, so new players shouldn't use them. New players should just instantly. Doesn't matter how much you like orcs. I don't think new players should play them because they probably won't carry on playing if they start with orcs. Um, that's the thing. Um, yeah, but there you go. The chaos low TV is no fun at all, is it? You know, as I proved with my like horrific record with chaos. What was it? Two two six or something with chaos. So it probably wasn't that bad, but it was bad this season with chaos. Um, you know, it's like yeah, yeah, wolf bath basically. Yeah, it's it's a funny old game because, yeah, the answer is whatever you enjoy. Yeah, yeah, the, not not giving up is the number one thing for new players, hundred percent, because it's easy to get pissed off and give up. <laughs> so I think, yeah, you want you want you want things to be a bit forgiving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly what we've got. So, so, yeah. you don't, but then on the other hand, if it's too forgiving, then, you know, you don't want to just click on the end zone and win because you're using Skaven, do you? So. I don't know about hard lesson. I don't think it wants to be a hard lesson. I think, you know, there was a thing, uh, I don't know if you know this, uh, who's that guy? Oh wow, board down in double skulls. Um who's that guy? There's a guy called uh you know, somebody who did a <laughs> who did a book called The Four Hour Work Week. Um Tim Ferris and he never he couldn't swim and the way he learnt how to swim was by doing this thing that gave you like small wins easily so that you would um you know like easy kind easy goals so that you would achieve your goals and then be encouraged to go for more things um and he said that was the way everyone should learn everything because it's essential to get the early wins um yeah, BZL, but you know. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? The, the normal way they teach isn't as good as it could be. That, that was the thing. And uh, I'm stopping his leap ward answer getting in here. <laughs> uh, no, his point was that for grown ups, it's. Yeah, exactly. People are shit at being more of it. Lonely, so, yeah. yeah, back in the day, they just threw it in, but that, that doesn't mean it's the best way to do it, does it? You know? Is basically why he's saying, you know, and he's all about doing, he's all about doing weird things like you know life hacks and all this kind of stuff, and uh, yeah, that was that was one of them. This is a bit fucked, isn't it? 
Hopefully he won't do the good play that I see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He basically, oh, I can't remember. It was like some weird thing. Like it was some. I can't really remember the exact story, but you know, for some reason he was terrified of the water or something, and then he had to get something. But it was some bollocks. Don't say it out loud, it don't If you don't say it out loud, it won't happen. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. That's that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, Reddit Rookie League, yeah, yeah, fair enough, Risper Visper, a few people have said that, yeah. Um, but yeah, there was, a, there, was a, there was a story anyway, and I can't remember the details of it, but wow, he's rolled double down, then double skulls, then double skulls. It's outrageous, isn't it? Yeah, he, did, he did completely not that, but I think that was definitely the best, the best, uh, the best thing. Love all two of a tutorial, it has, a, it has an awful tutorial. 10 yeah. 10 after 20 games is. I mean, that's average after 20 games. I think that's a. That probably is a Forest Gub level goal. Yeah, you'd be you'd be pretty good to be winning 10 out of 20. It depends what, depends what division you're in and stuff. But, um, I mean, you have to read the rules. You know, you have to read the rules. That's. That's essential if you want to. Win half your games. <laughs> you, know? um, you have to read the rules, hundred um, percent. You know, lear just learning the basic strats, I guess, is going to take probably twenty games. You know? I don't know. Yeah, ten ten is fifty percent win rate, which is, which is, average, isn't it? You know, ultimately, although you know you've. Most of well, not most. A lot of the streams are getting like eighty percent win win percentages. Obviously, average is fifty percent, isn't it? You know, so that's that's literally getting to average in twenty games is probably probably unlikely. I would think. Yeah, most people learn video games by jumping into it. And blood, blood, blood Bowl, I think it would be really hard to learn by just jumping into it. Um, I think you really do have to read the rules. You need to understand how assists work. I guess that's the biggest thing is learning how assists works, how tackle zones work. You just have to know that. You you can't play without knowing how they work, really. Uh, yes, but dice when average is fifty percent because draws count as half a win and half a loss. So, for example, if you won seven, drew two, lost one. You would have an eighty percent win rate because it would count as like the two draws would count as a win and loss. So <laughs> well done, Pablo. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, Miffy. Yeah, and and you know the game doesn't do doesn't doesn't help you to learn how tackle zones work. You've just got to. Do it yourself by reading the rules or watching a YouTube video, I guess. Which is something that people do, isn't it? Yeah, it's just tough that he, you know, he was going to get a hit in, wasn't it? But it's a frenzy trap, randomly. He didn't, he didn't do it with tackle, for reasons best known to himself. Like you have to know that tackle count is dodging stuff. You know, you can't just jump in and not know that, can you? Well, you can, but you can suffer if you don't. Should I push forward? It's turn 12. There's no need to push forward. Could blitz him, assist here, block there. Move the cage around here. Could blitz him, push down. Don't think there's any need. Cunt. Dodge. Whoops. Should have moved. Should have moved the ball carrier first. I didn't even see that dodge. <laughs> Gotta re-roll that one. 
haven't I? Guess I just gotta stand up. Maybe I should have pushed forward. But then I couldn't anyway if I'd roll the one, so. There's gonna be a lot of heat on here, isn't it, on this cage? Ugh. <laughs> Arrested development. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough, Astro Tour, yeah. So the biggest thing is stuff like Tackle Zones, and uh, yeah, that's what Fash would say, Astro Tour. Yeah, no, there was no reason for me to do it that way, I just didn't think about it. Um, yeah, I just didn't think about it, I was just chatting away here. Um, <laughs> Emperor Augustus has earned his pension. <laughs> Uh, yeah, bit, I mean, he got obviously he got way more unlucky than me with the double skulls, so I can't really complain about rolling double skulls there. But I guess I've just got to start moving now, haven't I, and try to score as soon as I can. It's probably going to get very messy this turn. Yeah, he can, can he? No, no, he can't. No, he can't. I think you're I think you're wrong there. Could be right, but I don't think so. Oh yeah, not quite easily. Oh yeah, quite easily. Yeah, actually, yeah, quite easily. But it wouldn't would it achieve much? Because he'd be pal there, you'd have had to remove him for it to have been effective. Yeah, exactly, Jello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Blood Bowl, with it being like a tabletop, it's. Yeah, they don't be easy, do they? Because they actually have good tutorials, don't they? That's the thing. Games now. I mean, Red Dead Redemption. That was a blast from the past. I'm looking forward to Red Dead Redemption too. But Red Dead Redemption was like literally. I don't know. I don't know how many game. How many hours was Red Dead Redemption to complete? Let's say fourteen. I don't know what it was. Let's say it was 14 hours to complete Red Dead Redemption. The first fucking 10 hours is a tutorial, you know? It's just horrible. So... Yeah. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, then. Um, well, in that case... Right, if you're not brand new, um, it's a bit different, but I don't know. Yeah, people need a cause and probability. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you need to understand basic probabilities, which a lot of people don't. Um, yeah, you should watch the Jimmy Fash game. Yeah, on you on my YouTube. Yeah, for sure. Vermintide two. I don't think so, Tony. I don't think so. I don't want to play too many games. I want to like I want to have a secondary game, but I don't know what that should be. Maybe I should have kept the kept the ball on the fucking two heads, but the 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 guard is in the cage because he's the most fucking soft gutter runner, isn't he? If if he was anywhere else, he'd be getting smashed to fuck by uh, the block frenzy guys. So I thought it was the safest to just keep him, you know, keep him in there for safety. Yes, he could be applying guard somewhere, but not really, you know. Mostly just be getting killed somewhere. That's that's why the guard is in the cage and not applying his guard because he doesn't have block. If he had block, I would have. He wouldn't be carrying it. Hey. One dice. A good old one dice. Sir. Yeah, kill Skaven and Chaos. There should be one where you just kill Norse. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So yeah, this is this is a bit horrible now, isn't it? But he's let me escape if I can roll some dice. There is one of the dice rolled, isn't it? Again with the tanks, uh, cross out, but it, they weren't really tanks. But yeah, cross out. I quite like that. 
but I just kind of, I mean, I didn't complete it, but it felt like I'd completed it. Put him into the roger. Hello. Right. <laughs> the disembodied, the disembodied hand. Uh, do I push forward? I don't know what to do. I'm panicking now. <laughs> I go. <laughs> Do I screen up here? There's frenzy though, isn't there? Fuck. Don't know what to do. Have a guy there. And a guy there. And go here. He's got to jump up, fucking hell. <sighs> here and here. Get away from tackle. Couldn't get that far. I couldn't get it vaguely safe if I went forward, especially when having frenzy as well. <laughs> yeah, he's got the four plus four plus two plus for two dice on the ball, but he's only got one reroll left. He goes for that. He's got no recovery. It's just really annoying. I wish I'd had it in the two heads guy. Potatoes a lot better with two heads guy, isn't it? This is about as good as I could do, I think, this. I guess the other side might have been better in terms of... It was further for the tackler to go. A lot further for the tackle to go. Yeah, so maybe I should have gone the other side to make it. But then now he's tackled. But he can still go six anyway and get there, so... I couldn't know, could I? I couldn't clear the bottom guys. I was going to last turn, but then failed. Emperor Augustus, is he finally dead now? No, he's still alive. A blood ball mutation in real life, what would you take? <laughs> um, a prehensile tail would be useful, wouldn't it? That would probably be the most useful one. Without, without... Without really thinking it through too much. Regeneration, that's not a mutation, fuck. Um, could be very long legs and be a pro. Pro uh, uh, extra armor, you'd look a fucking freak, wouldn't you? Like, <laughs> not there's anything wrong with people, with things. Claws wouldn't be, wouldn't be very... <laughs> Claws, you know, how could you do your mouse if you had a huge fucking hand or like a big crab claw? That'd be rubbish, wouldn't it? Um, wow, you dirty dingo. Uh, yeah, foul, you don't want to be a foul king. Disturbing presence depends what, what form your disturbing presence would take. I guess. Tentacles. Yeah. An extra, an extra arm. Two heads would be, no, that would be devastating, wouldn't it? You wouldn't want two heads. Yes, Tony. Uh, I think a prehensile tail would be really, look, really useful, but you would look like a complete fucking mad bastard, wouldn't you, with, a, with an extra, with a tail, extra toes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I want to just manipulate things in general. Whereas a prehensile tail would give you more manipulation, wouldn't it? <laughs> I 
But it would also be prehensile Ladio Crooks, which would be useful, wouldn't it? So he's just hitting the furthest forward gutter. How to jerk off with a claw. That's a very good point, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, tail would be pretty pretty useful, wouldn't it? Plus it would look fucking more cool than an extra arm. I think I think a prehensile tail would be way better than an extra arm. It would do essentially the same thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on, Chalotti's got it right. Oh, horns, yeah. Fucking hell, you would just look like a badass. Easy choice, horns. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Fair play. Fair comment on the horns. All oh, right, so he's actually, there's a way through here, isn't there? Um, blitz with him. He's already based. Got a state to keep that berserker based. God, yeah, horns would be the best. Fucking hell. Horns would be fucking awesome. You would just look like... You would look completely amazing. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess I don't have to keep it in control if I can just... Base, uh, base, base. This won't fail. So I'm on the right. Burr, burr, burr. This is the two heads one, so two dodges are fine. Right. Now, how about this one? I don't want to make a, a dodge, like a crazy dodge. Is that all right? Go there and then block him so that it's safe from that. Right. <laughs> um, I don't want to leave the tackler unattended. I mean, he can just dodge and get two dice on the ball. So, if I do this, it makes his dodge harder. If I do this, you can only get one dice on the ball. Go for it, eh? Why not? Hello, oh, Morgans. Yeah, this game has taken a while. I've had to think a bit. He's had to think a bit. I mean, this was the obvious play, wasn't it? So, and he doesn't have block. I, I don't have block, but then he doesn't have tackle, and then there's the other gutter ready to pick it up. Maybe I should have kept that tackle there. Oh, I didn't see this guy. Didn't even see him. It's pretty bad. I should have been one square back. I didn't even see that fucker. Oh shit. Two GFIs to hit with tackle. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> it was a tap. <laughs> oh man. 
I mean, the good thing is when he when he powers me, inevitably, at least I've got two gutters to still score. Yeah, but this was a hiding safety, which was just better, wasn't it, as it turned out? I guess I could have made a GFI there and a GFI here or something, or an extra dodge there. Could have got them out in front. I guess it probably should have just been one square. But then here I'm in scoring. I'm still in scoring one square, but I don't know. Fuck, I should have been bad. He's got two cocks. Okay. <laughs> Not played. Fuck. I mean, he could put he could put tackle on this guy anyway, so I don't know. He could put, gets tackle on them both because I fucking did that dodge. Yeah, he must have forgot as well. Yeah, surely. Because his instant reaction was to run around with this guy, wasn't it? And then he then he was like, oh, <laughs> oh, I don't have to. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have made that dodge. No, oh, especially since he's got jump up as well. Oh yeah. But still, if I'd got there, it would have been really good, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's good in scoring range. It is. And this guy's in scoring range without a GFI, so even if he does knock us down, he can pick it up, hand it off to him, and he can score. So. Almost time to press the end zone. <sighs> yeah, horns would... Horns would be... Uh, Horns would be really good, but I think pre intel here would actually be useful, wouldn't it? Here's original play. <laughs> oh, he was lying down. <laughs> That's awesome. There was a thing like that on uh, in the pros. It wasn't actually like that, but there was a thing in the pros, wasn't there, where uh, where they just all went to tackle Devin Hester and he didn't have it, <laughs> but they were like, "It's Devin Hester," so they had to go to him. <laughs> that was brilliant. Yeah, you can hide a tail and you can't have horns. Yeah, that's a good point, Andrew Crooks. Yeah, you would look cool as fuck though with horns. That like, that is a very good point. You would look like the coolest guy in the world. Now he's just doing a block. He's just leaving it. He's just leaving it. He's just leaving a 2 plus 2 plus to score. Why? How do you not do a dodge there? Gone all high pitched, haven't I? I don't know why. Wow. That is a. Uh, I don't really even have to score. I can probably stall it here. Let's see, tag him. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm confused. Wow. That was bizarre, wasn't it? I mean, this is hardly costing me anything to go for this blitz. Dodge screen here. The other gutter can go there. He's got a four plus dodge. Nice ring out of time. This guy's movement eight. Would really like to power there. Because then, if with a power, I wouldn't have to guard. Against this would I, if I powered him. I can't even go that far with him. So he could go back and and then go forward to here. Yeah, then it's pretty hard to surf him. And then a guy there and a guy there. Ooh. 
Oh, you can Last, last fucking reroll. Yeah, go there. What about this fucker? I've committed now anyway, aren't I? Pot committed. Pot committed. Let's fucking go. I could go here. No, here's better. Alright, where does the roger go? Guess GFI is twice to type in. No, the rogue wasn't on the floor for no reason. He was, I was obviously going to try and do something with him rather than just not do anything with him. Oh, I fucked it up. I could have moved this guy, could have gone there, and this guy could have been here, and I think that might have been better. Not much better. Pretty similar. I mean, this was easy because it was only one two plus roll. It was easier than the score, wasn't it? Because the score was two two plus rolls. But um, he has a norsing threat, yeah. It was a team on, on Fumble norsing to do but pile on, which was a Norse team. Oh, this is a. This is edge of your seat stuff, this, isn't it? Fucking hell. Could be a nil nil draw with Skaven. <laughs> Not many people have managed that, I bet. <sighs> Maybe he could have done some kind of chain there. I was thinking about doing a block or a dodge just to stop any chaining shenanigans, but he didn't do anything. Maybe he could have chained this movement eight guy forward a bit to do something. Maybe. Yeah, but you'd have still failed Astro Tor. But yeah, I guess, yeah, maybe. Maybe I could have put the rogue on him. But I don't know, I wanted to tag the... I, I thought tagging the movement 8 was better. But yeah, it's certainly... There's certainly something to be said for just tagging him, yeah. No, it's shit, is he? No, he hasn't done a good play. <laughs> um, I thought there was something there, but there wasn't. Doesn't matter. I mean, he, he not that he's done anything wrong, but that, I just imagined a play then. But it wasn't. It wasn't true. <laughs> you wouldn't have used your rear on the pickup. Get out of town. <laughs> No, I mean, the, the rogue have failed whichever one he would have done. But yeah, you could argue Mark and the scoring threat was okay. But um, I think basing him was better. That's just my opinion. Wow. He re-rolls. He uses last re-roll to get a pow. And then... Uh, it is really nice from here. Miss next game. Green One turn left. Good. He dodges out the tackle. Right. It's a bit. Greed. He doesn't even need to, does he? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. GFI with a tackle. Wish I saw the fucking reroll. One, two, yeah, double dodging. Oh, do, please, please, please. Two plus to score. If only I had, all I had to do. Oh! Woo, woo, woo. I, I was 
like, all I had to do was make a two plus pick up and a two plus dodge, like with a re roll, and now I don't have the re roll, but then he failed, so. Good job I didn't whine, eh? I was thinking about whining then. Whoo! That was unbelievable, wasn't it? Oh, yeah! Was oh, I mean, maybe I could have left him a two turn score, but he's got a movement eight fucking strength oh. four runner, you know? So that was. Yeah, if he hadn't, he didn't, he didn't need to do it. Well, because that opened the place, didn't it? He didn't need to, uh, he actually didn't need to re-roll that. You're quite right, Arrested Development, he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have earned that re-roll, because then he would have had a re-roll for that GFI, yeah. That's true. I've got two guys on the bench when you load a safe formation. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Um, <laughs> that was before riot. Yeah, riot could happen. Uh, I don't think so, Elmato. Did, did that look different? I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. I was just skip, skip. I've seen it before. I've seen the, I've seen the animations before, so I tend to skip the touchdown ones. Even though I like seeing the blocking, so you get the suspense. You know when you get blocked, where you can get injured. I like the suspense in that. But um, that was a GG, wasn't it? He was he was pretty good. I mean he was he'd won six, lost one, um, and his win percentage was quite high, wasn't it? In champs ladder overall. Um, yeah, and it was a it was a nice team he had. That was a good game, I thought. There is still time for a rock, though, uh, on that note. <laughs> Badly uh, Emperor Augustus, the most injured line rat of all time. I wouldn't say easily. Um, he doesn't have sure hands, he doesn't have a reroll, he does have agility three, he doesn't have dodge. Um, it's really not easy. Obviously, he's got frenzy, which isn't really necessary. Um, and he hasn't even tried the one turn, so. but yeah, it's not easy just because the rolls, isn't it? Like obviously getting the pushes is easy, um, but it's just getting the rolls is the thing. <laughs> I didn't even need to beat the other coach to have an in have an injury. So. <laughs> I can't, I'm playing it and I can't hear it myself. All I had to do. Oh! <laughs> woo woo woo! I, I was like, all I had to do was make a. Oh, it's so fucking lucky there, wasn't it? Him rolling that one. Holy shit. Um, someone like Tony could do that. But, uh, bad your life, still good for the other life. <laughs> Is he still gonna go for it? He might. No, he's not. Yeah, it was easy for him to get with Frenzy and that, and the amount of players he had. I didn't do anything to Norse, by the way. Um, yeah, it was easy for him to get the pushes, but actually picking it up and getting it to him and then him dodging through, even even only one tackle zone was really low, wasn't it? Without a <laughs> Yeah, do I dodge first on, on Ulfs? I guess Worfs is. Or wolves? I don't know what worfs is. I don't know what worfs means. Never mind. Um, if you mean Ulf Werners, I don't like it, but I can see. I can see why people would. El Mato gets another touchdown. The two heads has just made him a fucking scoring machine, hasn't it? Maybe if I'd taken two heads instead of guard on the others, they would have scored a lot. Did make five armor breaks in the whole match. That was pretty good, isn't it? For 1k on four stuns. But he made twice as many blocks, so it's not surprising. Although Frenzy actually. Frenzy inflates that a little bit, doesn't it? But um, I'm not surprised he outbashed me. You know, fair enough. Hell, Matt Ohoney's got all the star player points. <laughs> and uh, 77 on GFI. The last one got him, didn't it? His pickups were atrocious. Very unlucky. Um, there's the Ratburgers, 73. I, I did make some three plus dodges. So it's not bad. GFI is not good. <laughs> Two out of five on the old GFIs. Wild Animal, another horrific game for the Wild Animal guy, but I always do some four pluses. They're just not critical fails, are they? If you're doing a four plus, usually, usually they're not critical 
when you're doing a four plus wild animal. Whereas the two plus ones are really punishing. Um, hmm. I don't know, I guess you could have like tackle, maybe, something like that. I'll think about that one overnight. So to 14 players, I could sack the Rover and go down to 13 and keep him for Augustus. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah that's okay anyway it's a good it's a good time to end the day isn't it um, so thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic